How will you deflect Democrat charges that have been made against Republican House and Senate candidates across the country that you will privatize and or make deep cuts in Social Security? Well, I've, I've never said that I would privatize Social Security. And I think, I think it's okay for them to make those accusations. They're going to make those accusations anyway because honesty has never been part of the political spectrum in this country. And what we need to have is some people that will begin, at least start by speaking honestly. Uh, now, I've not, I've not come out publicly in support of privatization, but I have come out publicly in support of personalization. And they're quite a bit different. Privatization is where you're allowing someone to take that money and invest it outside the system. Now, that's okay unless you're the guy that, that retires uh, when the stock market crashes 4,000 points, and now the taxpayers on hook for it anyway. And so, what I do believe is in personalization. And by allowing your investment in Social Security be yours, but invested through the, the current system, we can now protect our seniors, and we can now protect our grandchildren. And that's, at the end of the day, the objective, is that we have to protect both. And there's a way of getting that done. And so I, I suppose the Democrats can make whatever accusations they want. They took a full-page ad out in the Press Gazette last week saying, I want to send jobs to China. So they're not afraid to say whatever they want. It's a little surprised to see that in the primary, but they will say whatever they want. And we can't, I can't get distracted by what they say. I need to go forward and, and take my solutions and offerings to the American people. And I believe that they're better than what the Democrats have, and so we'll win.